Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome to another video. I know I haven't really posted in a while, we're just gonna ignore that, but I didn't really miss much, neither did you. If you haven't been keeping up with any of the content going around, they made a battle pass change really bad. They got absolutely nuked over on Steam with a bunch of reviews. I believe it's still sitting at like overwhelmingly negative, which is enough to make them revert the change that they did. If you haven't been keeping up really quickly, the battle pass was going to switch into how the rank split is, and you were going to be pretty much forced to pay $10 per split, and they had a premium bundle for $20, to get like two extra skins aside from that the cheating issues and a whole bunch of stuff going on in the comp scene we didn't really get much in apex the, it's been the same right no patches no buffs the havoc still nukes but with season 22 coming around the corner we do have the brand new map i believe it's called district could be wrong but they posted on twitter today with some beautiful screenshots they look really good it's like a city with a little bit of titanfall aspect to it there's one more massive thing that's going to be happening for pc players that play controller it's been going around but the aim assist value is at 0.4 for those that don't know on console it's 0.6 and that's kind of to scale out the input lag but anyways the 0.4 value is going to be dropped to 0.3 it's really not going to be much of a difference you're going to feel like a little change for the first couple days but anybody who's played call of duty on pc or quite literally any other game that has controller support with aim assist right there's weapons in call of duty that they will disable or lower aim assist for mostly snipers and that works for x defiant as well and a bunch of other games do this right where the aim assist is lower for certain weapons higher for other weapons so knocking it by 10 percent really isn't going to do much so if you play controller on pc don't worry it's not going to affect you if anything it's going to make you a little bit better i'm not really one for the debate for the mnk and, and controller as of the past week i've been playing mnk on apex every single stream i enjoy both i do i don't really post mnk content on my channel i do like once a year maybe but i do enjoy mnk i understand there's pros and cons to both i'm not one of those people that gives a fuck i'm not gonna die on that hill that oh controller is so so bad it's so good I don't care play how you want to play if you're having fun that's all that matters and i know that that's never gonna die out that's always been a thing but it's just not for me right so yeah season 22 we have the aim assist change hopefully a bunch of nerfs and buffs i'm assuming the havoc is going to get nuked usually what they do is a meta relevant super good weapon like the havoc right now they'll throw a recolor like they did for the milestone event that's currently going on for big tdm and then a season 22 or the next season comes they nuke the weapon which is good it needs to be fried the hemlock needs tweaked a little bit but they always do this remove two three four bullets add two bullets and this kind of works for the aim assist thing as well right a lot of people on twitter are talking about like you should actually fix the directional aim assist instead of just dropping a value because that's not really going to do much it truthfully is not if they want to nerf aim assist the directional aim assist that you get when you sway your controller past an enemy they can tune that but it's ea it's respawn they're lazy they just drop a value remove bullets from a mag add a little horizontal vertical recoil and call it a day right all the negative stuff aside the cheating the battle pass which thankfully they reverted and all that to the side season 22 is looking pretty good the district map looks great honestly i really think it's gonna switch things up we haven't had a city or a close compact map where like the entirety of the map is a lot of buildings, a lot of closer play style. We've been in that sniper slash long range hemlock AR meta for a long, long time. And if you think about it, every single map that we have outside of World's Edge, Cap City or Sorting Factory in their prime, we're like the only close range fights. If you're trying to rotate anywhere outside of that, you're pretty screwed. You're just going to get smacked with a longbow, charge rifle, whatever, right? And I'm sure there's going to be spots like that on District, but this map is looking super promising. And hopefully a few more updates come to the game content wise. I really don't know why we cannot get armed and dangerous. Why we cannot get these LTMs that we've had for so many years. And now we're just getting like mixtape and, and rumble. And that's cool. That's cool. But where's the winter express? The, the, the shadow fall? Where is the armed and dangerous? There's so many LTMs that they have that are fun party modes. Nobody is sitting there playing control all day long. It gets boring after the third lockdown control. TDM, gun run, right? Those aren't LTMs. They're, they're just not. The servers are different. There's AI bots that level up to 20. They just stand there and shoot the ground like every 30 seconds. Once they get to level 20 for ranked, they go and get cheated on. There is a lot of AI bots in mixtape and their servers are completely different. If you've ever played mixtape versus a pub or a ranked game, the servers are absolutely terrible. Like the hit reg, everything is super, super laggy. So like compared to mixtape 
to like armed and dangerous it's night and day i don't know why we don't get it but i hope in season 22 we start to see those ltms for those who remember the old days we had a week where every day was a new ltm it's already in the files if they just added it it would be super refreshing instead of being forced to play ranked or public match ranked or mixtape ranked whatever you want to play you know it is what it is there's going to be cheaters everywhere but and then lastly there is a thing going around with the whole epic store being able to have apex legends on the app in the future a lot of people think that epic is just going to buy apex from respawn and ea i don't necessarily think that's going to happen they're probably just redistributing the game through epic store so like epic would get five or ten percent whatever it is five or ten percent of whatever microtransactions that go through their store versus the terrible ea app that nobody uses and then steam right i don't think we see a future where epic games actually buys apex that that's just not going to happen and even if they did there's only so many things that they can do to fix the game right we enjoy the core mechanics of the game but we need devs that have that passion we need a team of people that have that passion that want to make the game the best of its abilities so most changes like quads and stuff like that to throw into the game they're good because they're unique anything that's unique in apex is usually good because we're so used to the just stale nothing except for microtransactions. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the aim assist, season 22, what's going on with the battle pass, the cheating issues and everything like that. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for season 22? Are you gonna be playing the district map or no? I know a lot of people have moved on from Apex. I do not blame you. I've been playing Clone Hero, Pokemon, Skate 3, Session. I've been playing a lot of other games. So I'm right there with you. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.